Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your buddy PS3 Cold Blooded, and I have had a few requests to do what I'm about to show you, which is actually nothing special at all. And um, today is Monday, so I'm giving you guys some brink footage for the Mix Up Mondays. Wicked, 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 yeah, yeah. Um, but I've got, I've got a few requests, excuse my stumbling, mumbling, bumbling there. Um, to show you guys some control schemes for this game. I guess for some people that don't have this game yet, uh, maybe are a little interested in it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and select my character here. I'm going to go to options. And then I'm going to go to controls. Bam. And I have duty calls, which is basically sets it to where it's like Call of Duty. And since I play Call of Duty a lot, this really works out well for, for me. Um, Basically, uh, you can see all the controls there, and I'm just going to skip through it a little bit. So if, you know, just pause it when you see a control and you want to read it. There's duty calls. There is green marine chief, which that's a little weird, I guess. I like, I kind of like the sprint being on L2. That seems like it might be okay, but there is zone of killing. There is Oh My Gears. Oh My Gears. Uh, field of Battle. The Field of Battle. Custom Layout, which is basically whatever you want to set it to. Uh, default. And Zombie Killer. Now, I'm showing you this, but it really doesn't exactly matter because you can do this custom layout where you can set this button to, you can set the X to whatever you want it to be. You want it to be buff revive self sure go ahead have at it check it look I want it to be jump vault or crouch slide or reload interact or switch weapon or grenade so you could change whatever button you want to whatever you want it to be like no big deal um, and this is one of those games that's that even uh, ask a capper uh, he's been really trying to do his petition for this you guys, if you if you haven't seen anything about that petition, you haven't heard about Ask a Cap or anything like that, go check it out because it's actually something really good and it benefits more than just him or anybody else that plays with a handicap or a disability. This, you know, this really can work out good for everyone. You know, you can set it to whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with. Games really should be able to do this. They can do it for PC. Um, I know a lot of games sometimes get ported from PC to um, to the console games um, I don't think it would be that hard I don't know uh, I'm not you know some guy that makes video games I just do video game footage um, but it's actually really good um, especially for people like that so if you guys don't know what that is go check that out go check out Ask a Capper see what he's doing and you'll see what I mean um, but I'll show you guys you can invert your look so you can make it uh, like a what's that called legacy I think that's the way uh, what well, GoldenEye, I guess, was. Um, or you could set it like that. Um, the swap left and right stick. So, like, if you... I don't know why you'd want to do that to be... Oh, no, 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 never mind. That's for looking up or strafing, all that stuff, switching your sticks. So, if you're playing southpaw. Um, vibration, aim speed, which I have maxed out, um, horizontal and vertical. And even maxed out, it's not that sensitive, uh, to be completely honest. But aim assistance... Hold to crouch, which I just like toggle, um, so I just leave it on. Uh, aim assistance is nice, just like in Call of Duty. Um, and that's it. So there you go for your little wrap-up of your mix-up Mondays and uh, showing you guys the controls of the game. So hope you guys enjoyed. I've got a sub out there that's really been wanting to see this, so this one's for you, brother. All right, this is PS3 Cold-Blooded. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.